Good evening and welcome to the Dark Mom Consortium for August the 22nd, 2023. Yep, right, right, right show. <laughs> then hold on, that's the wrong show. No, that's the right show. Hi. Good evening, it's me, Mom. It's you, you. Let's go over to Discord and see if anybody wants to join us. Okay, we are live now if anybody wants to jump in and join. And tonight... I'm slowly going through my inventory and putting together the stash of what we got for the Ed party on Saturday. And, of course, because I'm me, we're doing it on a spreadsheet. And we're currently looking at 82 keys, so there will be a good present for everybody who donates, or almost everybody who donates. We have some T6 ship upgrade tokens, a T5 ship. We've got sufficient lobby currently... Um, you see 4,000. We have 4,100 on this one. So on this one, we have enough for four lobby ships. And that means I've got enough for the other one. So we've got eight lobby ships just from my stash. 47 Alpha Tango has offered us a lobby ship and a T6 Infinity ship. But we're going to try and do that one better. We're going to try and get a T6 of our own today. Maybe have a grand prize. Maybe a ultimate giveaway at the end of it for everybody who uh, wasn't able to get in on the lobby ships. For all the losers, even though you're not losers, one ultimate last giveaway. We will see. But like I said, so far that's what we've got. Um, we also have a lobby ship, the Gem Hadara Heavy Strike Wing Escort, that was donated by Pi. Um, we have some free T6 coupons from my stash, and we have a donation of a T6 ship coupon donated by All Things Trek. By the way, if you do not subscribe to All Things Trek on YouTube, get your butt in gear and go subscribe. Gotta share the love here, guys. Death by Numbers, good evening. How are you doing tonight? I'm in search of some salvage. So tonight we're going to be doing some uh, endeavors. If you need to do endeavors, we're going to do some randoms. We're going to do event if you need to do event. Um, you know, Maybe I, we'll do our endeavors, though, the fun way. So if you need to do... I don't know, Terrans, we could go do Operation Wolf instead of, you know, just going someplace boring and doing Terrans. Or uh, what else is good? There's a couple of good missions in there. And then depending on how things go over the next two days, we'll probably do some more stuff just kind of goofing around like that. I'm going to take Friday night off to get everything ready for Ed's party and put together the final list. People have been offering stuff, and I should check in on that. Let me pull up some of the people who've been texting me during this. You awesome folks out there. There's one. We've got some people who can't donate cash to this but are trying to donate equipment for us to give away, so that would be amazing. Uh, we have a Husnak warship being donated by the awesome Pirate Scum, the wonderful JB, which I think I think we did yesterday. One of these tunes has got him. We'll go find that. So lots of stuff going on. Um, remember, in order to win a prize on the raffle, donate something, one euro or more, to the GoFundMe for Ed. Let's see if I can make that thing pop up here. Mm -hmm. GFM. That might not have been it. But it takes about like five seconds. Maybe. Okay, well, that's not working. Maybe it'll magically appear on its own. We will see how to make it appear. I swear I hear somebody over there. Somebody else here? Someone's over here. I don't know Hi. who, though. Ah, <laughs> just, just look around and see if it's somebody behind you. I thought we had this fixed so that I can make this appear, but <coughs> apparently not. Excuse my coughing here. Let us go to Twitch and see what we did yesterday. Twitch. Is the video thing for not showing up or something? Yeah, it's not showing up and... Uh, it's not showing up. Pi rewrote it yesterday and should have been working. It worked earlier, so maybe it'll just pop up magically on the 15-minute queue. But I thought it was that exclamation point, Ed GFM. But let's see if it doesn't pop up, and if it doesn't, then I'll talk to Pi in the morning and see if it works. Anyway, so here's the scoop. 
we will donate. People can donate as little as one euro and as much as you want, there's no limit. Uh, once we hit 200 euros in donations, I will raffle off one of the big prizes, whether that's the T6 coupon, the Lobby ship, we will see. We're probably going to start with the big stuff, the Lobby ships. And that will keep happening every time we hit 200 in donations. You can only win if you actually donate, so make sure you get a copy of your receipt. And then I will grab the ship for you. So we have six or seven, I think, at the moment that are unopened. Seven that are unopened. A Jemadar Strike Wing and a Husnak. So Why? We have so far seven unopened Lobby ships, meaning you get to pick the Lobby ship. The Husnak. Do you remember from the episode in TNG? Where the um, guy wound up on the the old guy wound up on the planet with a woman, and they were the only two there, and the rest of the planet had been obliterated. But somehow they magically survived. And it turns out he was a member of the Husnak. And when the attackers came in, he just wiped out every single Hus or whatever they were ever. Oh yeah, that's the one where they put a song in Deanna Troy's head, and she went crazy. Yeah, exactly. One of the many times they did that. <laughs> One of the many times they did that. But yes, that was the one. And that's the... Who, he was... I can't remember if he destroyed the Husnak or if he was one of the Husnak. Um, no, I think he was one of the Husnak and then the aliens dis destroyed the entire race. Except for... Let's see. The Husnak were an intelligent species in civilization, very aggressive, and conquered other worlds. They were made extinct in 2366 when they numbered about 15 billion. Um, the Husnak warship attacked and destroyed the Rana for colony unknown to the Husnak, an energy life form known as the Daud, was also living on the planet in the guise of Kevin Uxbridge. And when they killed his wife Rishan, that was the end of the Husnak. So there's nothing in canon to say that this isn't what a Husnak ship looks like. So there, yeah. Actually, it did show a ship. It did, down. yes, it did show the ship. But all we know of the ship is that it was the image that uh, the Dowd, the David guy, or it. Kevin yeah. Uxbridge, made appear. So yes, I know we're going with that, but we don't know that that's real. We wouldn't know any different. Think about it. We have to take Kevin's word for it. Who's Kevin? Kevin Uxbridge, the uh, Dowd. Okay. The okay. guy who made them all disappear. I saw that episode once. It's a good episode. It's, it's actually very touching. you got to enjoy it when you get a really character really well-written character who has an appearance once and everybody remembers him for a long time. And by the way, Death by Numbers, if I didn't say hello, hello, hi, welcome to the show tonight. It's good to have you on board. So, Board King, the only thing I have to do tonight is get some more salvage to turn in on one of my tunes. So I'm totally up for doing just about anything today. We could do endeavors. We could do missions. We could do TFOs. We I, could do randoms. I, endeavors were easy, actually. Yeah, mine were easy, except for the salvage one. I don't have any salvage. I, I had to destroy, like, what was it? 20 Dyson Sphere vessels, the Voth. Okay. In the, in the Dyson uh, Sphere. Yeah. And, and then I, I had to do, um, was it 5,000 damage on the ground? And I had to kill some Vaudoir on the ground. So, oh, that goes uh, together. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah, I had something on the ground and two kinds of ground damage. And it was like, uh, Wolfie joined me, so we did Bug Hunt. And it was like, well, yeah, get everything done at once. Like my, uh, I would like to get my, little, my lower level character I'm playing right now up in things. And well, we could do some... We could do some patrols to get you some leveling done if you want. That would work out well for me. I think I'm going to spend Friday night cleaning out my bank so that I can put all the prizes in one spot, which would make life easier. Put an X in chat. <laughs> oh, hang on. Let me get to that tune, so give me one second. We're in schnork. <laughs> yeah. Okay. 
Fuck. <laughs> Let's see if there's anything on this tune that we want to put over into the reserve pile. It's Ooh, supposed I'm... to be a fish. It's I'm supposed very... to be a fish. Like a fish type. Oh, okay. Alien. <laughs> I have some nice stuff here. I wish I could, like, make her into it, like, give her gills and all that. But, like, oh, that would be fun. I don't know what would be the best thing to make her give gills, except the, um... Don't we have a gill option? No. The coral, coral might work. Coral? But it just, it makes her more, look more like some kind of mammal with horns. <laughs> okay, yeah, that's not quite the effect you want there. Hi, Obi, how are you doing? I'm having a, each day's a little bit better. And, of course, you know, then there was a minor setback at work. And then we find out somebody at work's wife or sister is really sick. And it's just like, come on, guys. Really? Really? People need to stop dying. Yeah, that's what I said yesterday. <laughs> Please just stop dying. It's breaking my heart. All right, let me jump over to that good tune that we want to use. It's Kefza. Yeah, no dying, yeah. Dying is okay in-game, but in real life, uh-uh. Really sucky. Been there, done that, done it enough this time. Well, good so, dying in-game sucks too, you know. Yeah, maybe not. <laughs> but, yeah. Maybe the process, but at the end, who knows? So, Obi-Wan, I don't know if you've heard, but we are having a party for Ed, our memorial for Ed, on this Saturday. And we're going to be doing some money to, or doing some stuff to raise money for his GoFundMe to hopefully... Make sure he gets a proper burial. So let me pull this up here. I think I've been typing this too much because it comes up automatically now. So he... No, I, tried to, I tried to get that day off because I wanted to be there. The whole I want day. you to be there too. Yeah, Obi, Ed passed away last week. Yeah. Very suddenly. Um, but my, my boss said, I talked to my boss, so is it possible I can get like next day off? He's like, not possible. You already have two people going on vacation that hmm. look like I'll be working by myself three days in a row. Ouch. And Saturday, is one of them is like. So, Obi-Wan, um, this is my point of view on what happened. I went off to Vegas. Ed hadn't been feeling great, but he was complaining mostly about being so hot, so he wasn't sleeping well. And he seems seemed to be kind of aware of his health. So I trusted him, and I left for Vegas and hadn't talked to him for two days. Came back from Vegas a couple of days later, and he wasn't on, and he wasn't on, and he wasn't on. And now I'm getting really worried because I checked in the game logs, and he hadn't been on. And I thought, okay, maybe he's back in the hospital. That happened last once before. You know, got really sick, went to the hospital. And still didn't hear from him. Nobody heard from him. So I believe it was Tibby, or Master of Puppies, got hold of his sister in England, and she called the upstairs neighbors who went into his apartment and found that he'd passed away in his sleep. So there, he didn't have any money. You know, um, just didn't have any money. So we are trying to raise some funds to make sure he gets a proper burial. And hopefully if we raise enough, maybe we can get a headstone for him too. Maybe we can get a little delta shield on it. Maybe we can say... In memory of Gerhard, and then we can get in quotation marks Ed or Edarta, something like that. I, it's probably not done in Germany. You know, Germans. I mean, not as bad as the Swiss, but he would love it. I don't think his sister would care if we paid for it. So that's where we're at. Yeah, we had. I was off all last week because I was just. I'm getting better. I didn't break down until this morning when. Um, uh, Wolfie and I were chatting, and okay, I lost it. I lost it, but that's the first time I've just broken down in almost a week. So I'm about to do it again. Come here. Come here. Ed and I had been friends for so long. What is wrong with you, crazy dog? Uh, excuse me, crazy dog did something stupid. I'll be right back. <laughs> that's why. <laughs> Oh, 
Thanks, Obi-Wan. Yep, um, it's a big hug situation, which is made a little bit easier by the fact that my dog has her foot caught in her collar. I, I don't even know how she managed to do that. And... <laughs> oh, goodness gracious. How did you do this, little one? She has Grinch feet, so she's got really long hair on her feet, and I can't even see how she did this. Grinch feet? She, Grinch feet, yeah. So she's got long <laughs> hair on her feet, so they look like she's a Grinch. Loki, let, 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 let's see what you did. I don't even know how she did this. Her nail is so long that it's actually... No, Loki, you can't move, honey. <laughs> honey! <laughs> yes, stop. Oh, goodness. Okay. <laughs> Loki. Yeah, I'll be right back, folks. Go chat amongst yourself while I try and figure out what the dog's doing. I think you're mute, Star Queen. I know. Okay. <laughs>
Okay. I apparently have to get my dog's nails cut because they're so long they actually made almost a complete loop. She managed to get it caught in her collar, and so her foot's now stuck on her neck. But somehow she went wiggly and yelpy, and all is good now. She freed herself. Uh, if it's not one she thing, it's everything. Oh my god, yeah. And the other one's barking the whole time. Mom, 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 the dog's hurt. Mom, the dog's hurt. Yes, uh, yes, that's the papillon. Ooh. But that's done now. And thank you, Obi-Wan. Yeah. Um, Ed, Ed, when my husband was dying, was the first one to come back with the silly defense of how to deal with that. And uh, got me through that one. Now we got to figure out how to get through this one. So no more dying, anybody. I'm tired of it. I can't deal with it anymore. Hi, Mom. Hi. How are you? I'm doing all right. I'm glad to hear that. Just I'm gonna be in, I'm here for you. That's oh, why I'm thank for you. you. Oh, you know what? Um, same as when my husband died, you guys were here for me, and now I have to be there for you guys because Ed wasn't just mine. Everybody loved Ed, including people who didn't know him, which is really weird because I'm getting messages from people I've never met going, "Hey, we heard about this. We heard about the fundraiser." Let us know what we can do. So apparently, uh, with GoFundMe, there isn't a low end. I think it has to be a whole euro or more. But that's it. So everybody, donate a euro. If everybody in the fleet donated a euro, we could build this magnificent tomb for Ed. I don't know what it would look like. Uh, I was thinking about that. If you could have anything you wanted for like a tomb or a mausoleum, what would be appropriate for a Star Trek Online fan? ESD? I mean, do we do ESD? Do we do Klingon but, Hall? But how, how do we do that for us in the game? Like, can we do that? No, we can't. Closest we can do is, you know, hold up the torch and all that stuff. Yeah. So I just went up and sat by the... Uh, Memorial upstairs, I thought that was the closest we've got, but when Leonard Nimoy died, everybody went down to Vulcan. New Romulus. New Romulus now is a good spot to be. And then when uh, uh, Rene died, everyone went to oh my the... Oh, uh, To Deep Space Nine. Office. Yeah. Same, same with Aaron. They all... Oh my god, when Aaron died, that was... You know, you wouldn't think that Aaron, who was not a huge character in the series, but he was such a huge person. I mean, everybody loved him. They still love him. When you go to the conventions... you Well, you go to the conventions, Borking. You know what it's like. Yeah, yeah. I got my picture of him with him in his nog costume, like, oh my god. all make up now. I've got... Oh was his was the first <laughs> autograph I got in the book that we wrote. And it was just like, I got Aaron's, I got Aaron's signature. That was so cool. Ooh, Obi Wan's got a new community. Sweet. Yeah, and when Kyle Pocket died, everyone went down to Beijing. Or hi, Jack. Yeah. So, um, so you know, it sucks. I'm glad that we've got such a great community and so many people hang together and support each other. The weird thing is, about six, eight months ago, somebody had posted a comment in one of the chats that I'm in that Lant had passed away. And I was really heartbroken. This was... Who? Lant. He's, uh, he does PvP. He comes in and visits us one to, once in a while. Lantos. Okay. Um, great PV, PvP guy. Absolutely amazing. He hadn't died... And somebody came on using his uh, game name, and I'm like, that is just so tacky. I'm chatting offside. You know, th that's not right. And he goes, no, I'm really Lance. And I'm like, Lance dead. And he goes, no, I'm, I'm really Lance, and I'm really not dead. And I lost it. I was so upset. But I'm, I mean, I was happy, really happy um, that he's still not dead. But, and then I, this was right after my husband died, and then to find out that Lant was alive was just like roller coaster of emotions up and down. Really interesting. So, Dwayne, you know, normally at three in the morning when I'm broadcasting in the morning, I'm asleep too. It doesn't stop me. 
If you haven't heard me the first 20 minutes of it when the coffee's still hitting the bloodstream, I'm definitely not conscious. Let's see, uh, Mewson says, so far he's the only one who actually played Stoby on a passing fed. Yeah, no, um, Aaron, yeah, and Aaron. the other one is Noah. Noah plays Star Trek Online. No, no, Noah does not play Star Trek Online. He played it as a passing fad. He's still in He us. hasn't played it for <laughs> ages. No, he hasn't played it for ages, but that doesn't make it a passing fad. He was in quite seriously for a while. I... Yeah. Mm, yeah. Not yeah. as serious as he could have been playing oh, it. Oh, uh, well, I'm not good. why I don't take him seriously. Okay. Noah, I love Noah. Noah, if you're out there, I know you've got stuff going yeah, on, but no, I still I, love I, you, dude. I love him, and I understand that with a small child around the house, there's no time for video games. Yeah, and, well, especially right now. But no. it never really felt like he was really into the video game. Well, I, yeah. I will beg to differ, but you know, who are we to judge somebody else's depth of intensity? <laughs> Sav yeah. says, children yeah. are the devil. So true, Sav. I've got two of them. Well, technically yeah. I've got mm. one and a portion, but we won't go into the portion. We'll just say I've got one. How's that? Dwayne says, I'm not good at PvP. I, That's why we uh, want to have Lant come out here um, and show us how to um, play PvP. Good evening. Uh, Good evening. I, I think you have a whole lot of children. <laughs> everybody calls you mom. Well, there is that. Yes, there definitely is that. Everyone uh, who's in full of kitties. Well, you've 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 mainly forgotten. This is her Discord, so everyone who joins her Discord are her children. <laughs> in a oh. manner of speaking, yes, yes. <laughs> By the way, yes. just so for your information, I have now completed the Space Endeavors. They're fully maxed out now. Oh, congratulations. Well done. Don't forget to keep playing them, though. I Which... now have to work on the ground section of the game. Oh, yeah. Well, hey, that's, that's cool. We get to do that. Sav has asked the poignant question of the day, with this being such a sentimental moment, you know, when we're talking about Ed and the funeral and everything that's going on. Sav Good poses course. that... Time immemorial question, what about titties? Because, Sav. Well, we all know Ed like, used to like doing bug hunt. <laughs> Ed definitely loves bug hunt. We played it this uh, morning because <laughs> bug hunt and pavo dissension. <laughs> <laughs> Those two are like, if you go back through the history of your channel, mm -hmm. they're preferably your most two most played TFOs. They are. In, well, if we had anything we could do where we could justify doing it on the ground, it would be either Pavo Dissension or Bug Hunt. Because, you know, I, I why not? Think, I think, in order of Ed, I think we should do a Bug Hunt Elite. <gasps> it sounds good to me, but I'm not going to do it on this tune, unfortunately. <laughs> well, I finally picked up the last of the Borg kit modules today. Ah! So I now have the full set on my main character. I'm going to do the last ground kit that Ed and I put together, which we put on my first tune. Yeah, Sav, I assure you that a fleet full of kitties would be horrible. Speaking of fleet full of kitties, there was a time when I used to write fan fiction, which is like yesterday, um, and there was a guy whose name totally eludes me, who wrote fan fiction I've got Star Trek's best beverage in my cup. Ractigino? Blood wine? Anyway, um... So he... So, Picard. I can He got off onto this tangent about everybody in Star Trek, uh, TNG, having children, and they wound up with basically the children's ship, all led by his uh, character, Marissa. Oh, wow. And was she the captain of the vessel? Oh, of course. Of course. Fanfic Marissa Picard. There is actually a TV trope just about Marissa. Stephen Ratliff. Oh, and Stephen Ratliff's a heck of a guy. Stephen, if you're out there, I love you, dude. But um, this stuff is just freaking amazing. <coughs> All I can tell you is you really have to go read this stuff. It will bend your brain. Uh -huh. But 
it, it's Marissa an all... Amber Flores. Marissa Amber Flores, yes, exactly. So now I'm just trying to work out That's what funny. should... I'm now trying to work out what should be my uh, sixth and final uh, kit module for a ball themed build. Oh, 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 oh. Hey, I love root beer. Good root beer. Oh, Lord. What have you got right now for your Borg themed build? Okay, so far I have got the Borg kit module frame. Okay. From the engineers. Mm -hmm. I have the five some of the Borg set, which is collective will. Mm -hmm. Resistance is futile. Mm -hmm. Excellent. Orbital cutting tractor beam. Excellent choice. Adapts. Yep. And a simulator, okay. which I just picked up this evening. For a measly nine million, it's yeah, actually a pretty good uh, price for it. Uh, for okay, so you have a simulate. Mm -hmm. Now find um, what was it? Collective will. Yeah, he's got collective will. Yeah, he's got it already. Is that okay? I've got um, the five some. Yeah. So do you have the ground bridge officer um, mirror Janeway? I have the Mirror Janeway and the two extra bug you can get through the other the other episodes and reputation. Mirror, Mirror Janeway can also assimilate. Yep. <laughs> which adds to the collective will. If you then also have the low by Borg set, the bat the bat the whatever the Borg set. Yeah, the Borg set from the lobby store ground. Give that mm. to uh, another bridge officer, and you'll have the maximum potential assimilation uh, with your your uh, just, collective will. That's just plain dirty at that point. Imagine yeah, yeah, well, yeah you, that means and your point your, is uh, what? You, 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 indeed, your point is what? There's a mission. Which one was it? Home. Home. Oh, Where okay. that? Oh, 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 oh. <laughs> Imagine all. F Let's let's say we had the entire team full of Borg themed builds on characters that should not be Borg. And then we just assimilate absolutely everything on the entire fucking map. I I I, I, I don't see that. a problem with this. <laughs> yeah, I, this is literally what I do when I'm doing solo content. Right? That that that's how much I assimilate. Yeah, no. that way I don't have to DPS build. I, I can tank. Well, typically I use my uh, stolen Iconian weapon that I stole off to Ket. Mm. So, yeah. Um, let's see. There's a Borg buff from the Omega rep. That's from mm -hmm. Dwayne. Yeah, and wasn't there one you could earn uh, by... Doing something in one of the TFOs. Well, I I, I remember that. Okay, the other one <laughs> is currently in the Zen store under personal. Okay. That's the other one. The other one that you're talking about is the male fairy. Yeah. There there used to be that during one of the TFOs you had to go in a place and and like die you'd get uh, an accolade and that would let you get the, the go the in a place oh. and die can we get a little bit more specific than that <laughs> oh i forget i mean because that's kind of what i do with everything it it it's the one uh, where you have to run back to the queen but you can reach that tunnel that was behind the force fields and you can die in there get the um Oh. Assimilate it or something. Uh... Yeah, um, it's, it's not into the hive. It is. Come on, brain work. Uh, in fact, is it infected manis? Or or kitamarin stasis? Kitamarin stasis. Probably. Yeah. Mom, what instance am I in? It looks like I'm in six. Because I, I remember you had to get that uh, accolade, 
and then you could get the the officer. Because if you actually go by there the first time and the force field is up, you can't reach that tunnel. You can actually see one Borg behind there. Yeah, I remember that. Yeah, that that that's the one that you get. That's supposed to be the one you get for like doing everything and getting hmm. the. I don't the remember ever play. getting it, but you know, it's been such a long time since I first played that they, one. They might have changed it that now it's part of the reputation that you can get. That could be, yeah. But I, I, I still remember in the old game that that was how you got it. Back in the old days when I was just a young whopper snapper. <laughs> that that mm. kind of old days? Pretty much, because everybody on Stowe was young whippersnappers. So, what should be my sixth and final tip module? Would you that say? is still the good question. Does anybody have a good answer for him? Mud's time device. Yeah, that's what my default is a lot of the time. Are right you now I'm, Are you right I'm using engineer. I'm using the ambush yeah. charts from the term, you know. Mud's time device, especially if you got anything that also. Oh no, wait, that was uh, your side. No, yeah, mud time, mud's time device. As a device, the Pavan healing crystal, I, I can thoroughly recommend because that can actually trigger the cooldown on the mud's time device thing. Trust me, I have all those that you just said. Yeah. Um. Yeah. Uh, no, that should work. Now, there's a lot of people who take the. Oh God, what was it? Um. The Nakul ground shield, right? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I myself prefer the uh, Lucari ground shield. With no, secondary, the Lucari wrist weapon. You know what I prefer right now, which I've stuck for a very long time, is the Gamma 3 piece. Oh! Ground set, which has given me, you know, quite a lot of survivability, which I'm, I do look for stable builds. And I found, you know, even with my <clears throat> lack in ground, you know, endeavors, I'm still in the 60% range in terms of resistances. Oh, yeah, that's not that hard. Um, why I recommend the Lucari shield with the wrist weapon is you can set the wrist weapon to two different modes. Yeah. Just damaging or, or healing. also healing. Yeah. Which is and nice if for... you got the two-set piece with the shield, you have a little field around you that turns green. Anybody else in your team in that field gets healed. Nice. And that is why I use that. Well, I, I've been doing a build that Ed and I put together. Well, Ed put it together and I executed it, which is based off the Rizian kit with uh, K-perf times three. And then uh, the Kumarki set after that, your choice of weapons. But it's Mud's time device, and I use Ball Lightning, Agony Field, uh, what else have we got up here? Uh, the Micro Generator Drone, I'm, yeah, that's okay, but we go back and forth. Gravitational Juncture and a Suck Box. And it's really that's good. It. Yeah. It's, yeah. it's... Question. Yeah. Does anyone like the Hurricane Wave device? The... The soon... The fall. Which one is that? Put it in chat. There you go. <laughs> Hang on. I don't even know that one. Isn't that in the... Huh. That's a lot of damage if it actually does it. Have you ever it's used in the, it? Uh, Earthly Strike Group uh, fleet storage. Oh. Well, as long as it's not in the prize bank, take it if you want it. That's why you put yeah, stuff yeah, in I, there. I need a... Uh, I need, uh, Kit modules. <laughs> well, go take one. Well, you know, my character is supposed to be like a fish. My character, mm -hmm. a hurricane. Yep. Well, don't forget the tsunami <laughs> generator then. What? There's a tsunami generator too. I don't see one in there, so. Um, it's probably not in there. It's probably out of oh. an event. If I want to say it's out of the summer event. Yesterday. Uh, oh yeah, you get. Oh yeah, I saw that, but it's like if I claim it, if I buy it, yeah, it. it 
it'll make it an automatic uh, admiral, and I'm only lieutenant commander. Say again? It'll give it to me as an admiral, so I wouldn't be able to use it until I'm an admiral. Oh, because it's that level? Yeah. Mm-hmm. By the way, I did oh. three infected conduits yesterday. Okay, well, we, we've been shooting the breeze here for way too long. Let's go shoot things. Who wants to go kill stuff? Raise your hand if you well, like I to go kill level, stuff. I want to level up my character. Well, we can do some leveling up your character, too. Yep. Yeah, Lots just of stuff do to a do. set of patrols. Yeah, we can do that with him. And, well, I can, I can bring my very, very well-tested tank in Elite. Well, Board King, doesn't. what level is uh, your s- tune? Search and rescue, ninth rule, trouble over terror. Yeah, we can do that. I'm that totally good with that. Board King, what level is your tune? Nineteen. Nineteen. So we're not going to be able to drag you along on any TFOs, but let's go do some leveling. Let's go run some patrols with him and get him up a bit, and then we can go off and shoot more things. So, quick question: How yes. big a DPS boat should I bring, or should I just bring it? Oh, bring the biggest thing you got, because if we just sit there, he can sit back and just suck up all the XP. You kidding me? I, my my uh my uh shells can help do damage. I'm <laughs> sorry. What what level are you? Nineteen. Okay, you can just sit there and look pretty for a little bit. Okay. Oh, uh, Dwayne points out there's also the Borg prosthetic arm weapon from the Omega yeah. Rep store. That's actually not a bad weapon either. Just so you know. Mm-hmm. I need a new name for the USS Thunderbolt, which is a legendary pilot warship. That's a good name for a ship. I put it on the Defiant. With my old mirror warship build with some of the updated traits from the mm-hmm. 10th anniversary bundle. No, it's a, but it's a great name already. It's just a better How name. <laughs> Something that will make it stand out from the US on... Because let's be honest, I've already seen like three Nassau's already nah. in the game. Okay. Well, um, I have a thing here for you. If you're ever, like, looking to generate a name, there you go. Name generators? Uh, yeah. Yep. The the fantasy name generators. Hey, that's how I... Specifically, ship name generator. Actually, the main character that I'm using for an upcoming thing is named from the generator. But I put it in, I needed a... Uh, uh, oh god, what is Troy? Not Bajoran. Betazoid. I needed a Betazoid first name. Yeah. And it took me a while to get through it and just going, nope, 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 nope. Oh, there we go. Double L? Of course. It, it starts with a double L? But of course. Or, or, or with like a, a letter somewhere in the middle and at the end of the L? No, no, we went with a double L. It's Lawasala. Lawasala's on. Oh. I figured that was yeah. the case. Yeah, it it doesn't exactly flow trippingly from the tongue, but Ed wanted it to be Beatrice, and we had a disagreement about that one. Something. <laughs> no, I'm sorry, Ed. No. Um. Ah, uh, that that would be like a a Klingon warrior named Trixie. <laughs> but that would be fun. Well, I have a pit bull named Fifi. Okay. Everybody thinks Anyone. that it's the little one is named Fifi. No, she's Loki, the eater, devourer of human flesh. The big and one is Fifi. Looked at you, right? Pardon? Both dogs just looked at you because you said their name. No, both of them are sleeping. One snoring here oh. and um, farting at me. Making, farting. Me, mar- <laughs> making me, me regret that I fed her beautiful broiled salmon um, and broccoli and rice for dinner. It's the broccoli, I'm sure. <laughs> Celestia was a uh, name generated for your tomb. It, well, Celestia is a great name, and it's particularly good, you know, for a starship captain. You know, Celestia, the stars, it's beautiful. So good I'm evening, Baron Viscopa. Captain. How are you this evening, sir? Okay, since we've oh. got a few newbies here in the f- past few minutes, hi, everybody. Um... I won't be grim here, but we are doing a fundraiser this Saturday from 8 a.m. Eastern Standard Time, American Time, to 8 p.m., so a 12-hour run, uh, which will be a fundraiser 
to help pay for Ed's funeral. We have some amazing prizes, most of which are, uh, we have people who've donated Loby, and they will buy you your choice of Loby ships, if, if, if you win the raffle. So how do you win the raffle? Donate something, one euro or more to the GoFundMe. If you do that, every time we hit 200 euros, we're going to run a raffle. Um, and we have other prizes as well. So we have Loby ships. We have two that are already purchased. Um, in addition, if somebody wants to make a donation, I have the Eagle Moss miniatures of the Star Trek Online ships sitting right here in my little office. I have the Europa. I have the Mo. I have a Bordescue. I believe I have a Vastum. I have three that are unsigned, and I have five that are signed by Thomas Maroney and Mike Fatum. So, nice. yes. I want one of those at the uh, convention. Remember that? Uh-huh. Well, they <laughs> gave us these when Duffy passed away okay. and said we could do what we wanted to with them for the good of the fleet, and it was to be auctioned off for Duffy, and we only so, uh, auctioned off three or four of them, so I thought, hey, Here's a really good cause. So it, those I'm not going to raffle off. If you want one of them, make a generous donation. We can discuss what generous donation is to the GoFundMe, and I will send it to you directly. A thousand U.S. dollars. Well, that's probably very generous. Um, I, I was thinking more in the 50 to to $100 range, but if you want to donate a thousand, go for it. <laughs> I, I'm right there with example. you. That would probably help. <laughs> it would definitely oh, help, yeah. Yeah, that I, was an example, by that, the way. that's an excellent example. I like that example. Um, it, it, <clears throat> I've ever had a thousand dollars, and because I lack the finances for a donation, I decided to donate a prize instead. I will take that. Absolutely, will take that. Uh, we've been given prizes by Forty Seven Alpha Tango. Um, who else has given us? And I donated here? bits this morning with to you, Mom, and for the. Uh, for Ed. Yes, and definitely. So we've got, um, and everybody's going to get a prize. If you donate, you get a prize. I've got keys. I've got T6 upgrade tokens. I've got a tier five ship. Sorry, that's not a great prize, but that's what you get. I've got a T6 coupon donated from All Things Trek 47. So if you do not watch his show, please watch his show. We've got a Herogen Heavy Escort. We've got some more T6 coupons. We have some more Lobby. We have a T6 Infinity ship. Wow. Yeah. Uh, don't forget, my donation was a tier 6 promo. Yours is a tier 6 promo. That's right. Where did I put that? I put it someplace good. I'm going through everything because people have been sending me stuff. Uh, yeah. People will have to choose the ship before I can send it out. Right. So you can't... That's right. You can't give it to me. We, you have to talk to you. Right. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Right. Let but me write that down. What, what ship, and I'll send it to you, then you can send it on. Mr. Price. I have, just so everyone knows, I have <laughs> reported a bug this evening. An you, STO. Yes. It's, uh, it's according to Starbase 1. There's some trash that should not be there, and it does affect the mission and the actual TFO. So just a warning, that may get patched next week. Okay. Now, I'm going to change that deal, and pray I don't alter the deal any further. Uh, <laughs> um, instead of just a promo, somebody can choose either Infinity or Promo, <gasps> whatever they like. Holy this moly! It goes getting worse every time! Sorry. Because I do have spare boxes of both. So, wow! Just let me know. I'll, I'll donate a ship, Infinity or Promo, whichever somebody wants. So we've got some seriously good prizes here, everybody. And the goal is, let's get Ed taken care of this one last time. And for those of you who don't have big stuff to give away, but you want to donate to it, and you can't afford to even give a euro, which I totally get, don't. Don't worry about that. Um, the smaller prizes will be among the prizes that everybody who donates gets. So I'm going to try and make sure everybody's got some stuff out of this. And we're not rating the fleet bank for this one. This is coming from donors and me and Pi. Shame I can't access Ed's stuff. That would have been amazing. I know he's got stuff stashed. Man, just get into his costumes. Oh, That man had a lot of stuff. Oh my god, he had stuff. 
He had tons of stuff. And he had so oh, many amazing costumes. I mean, Iron Man and the Pharaoh and Captain Cuddles and... I think Cuddles. <sighs> Captain Cuddles! You've never seen... Oh, you had to have seen Captain Cuddles. It was like an Ewok. So no, was, I've never seen that one. Okay, uh, Captain Cuddles and I used to do a lot of missions together because... Uh, I created a giant Gorn, and he had this little tiny Ewok thing, so it was Gornalicious and Captain Cuddles. And they went everywhere together. That was probably my favorite tune of Ed's for a long time, though if he brought out any of the other ones, it was always bad. Oh, and, of, and of course, we cannot forget when we did Venture Brothers, and he had the Monarch, and Mrs. Doctor the Monarch, and Mrs. Doctor yeah. Girlfriend. Doctor Girlfriend. Miss, yeah. But it was Mrs. Doctor Girlfriend, because this was after they got married. And he had done a great job with Doctor Girlfriend, and the Monarch, for that matter. They're both pretty amazing. So, right now, the def my Defiant is part over a universal, e a universal class Enterprise J. Yeah. Okay. He looks small in comparison. We're going to run a uh, couple of patrols here so we can get Borking a little bit more leveled up, and then we're going to go do some fantastic so stuff. Borking, are you running an XP mod uh, bonus thing? Yeah, I got, um, I, didn't look, uh, I think it's like over 100, 147,000 XP bonus thing. Well, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> wow! Don't ask me I twice. Pick I the patrol. Like to get a lot. Pick the patrol, and I will be the. Okay. Um. What's the? Oh, hold on a second. Why is this doing this? Where we? What are we, what are we running the uh, difficulty on? Um. You're level 19. We could go on elite. <laughs> are you bringing your tanky tank? No, I'm just bringing a shooty shooty ship. Do you want me to bring a tanky tank? I can. That's up to you. What do you feel more comfortable in? I'm fine with doing a shooty shooty ship. Wait, let's make okay. sure I haven't done something stupid. Yeah. This is my torp build, though. Yeah, do I want to build my... No, I'm going to bring out something else. Give me a sec. I'm going to leave the is team right? here. I'll be right back. I'm going to go grab something a little bit better. I will grab my tank, though. Yeah. Okay. I can invite you back. Okay. Give me a sec. Because I'm... I, for some reason, you made me team leader. I, yeah. <laughs> well, it goes to the next one. I... Because you're the next highest in Borking's level 19 or something. Okay, if you want to give me a uh, invite there, thank you very much. Now I'm back I in my tank. 19.65 is what I want to call it. 19.65. <laughs> there we go. And why have I got that one on there? I want to put that one there. Okay. I am I all set to go. Um, yeah, let's see. It's I'll not say you back as team leader, by the way. Oh, thanks. All right, my thought would be, let's start that off with... Uh, I typically go from the knife rule to the rescue and search, and then to the rest of them. Is it rescue and search, or is there a different one? Is it uh, tear over tear? tear trouble over so, tour. That's usually a good one, too, though, right, for running XP? Yeah. Let's start and with knife rule. And knife rule as well. Yeah, I mean, different. let's run a couple <laughs> of these. So let's start with trouble over tour. Tur. Okay, Board King, right. we're going to go to Trouble Over Tur. Let me know when you're ready. Launching. In the, in the Tur system. Tur. I don't know where we came up with that Tur. I keep calling Maybe it the Tur system. Rat. So do I. Personally, it doesn't really matter because, well, we're we all going to say it's the Tur system. Yeah, exactly. Okay. So I promise now that we are... Edless, I will actually step up my game and attempt to actually know what the heck I'm doing. I will now become an adult in this game. Instead of just my usual... Well, Ed can take care of him for me. Seems I... So you don't want me to... You want me to stay back, right? Yeah, we want you, to, you need to do a little bit of pew pew. So GSQ says she's going to get some keys, open some boxes, and see if she can get me anything good. Awesome. I have keys, which I was going to use to open up stuff, but I'm going to instead just give away the keys. But I have 20 R&D boxes that I thought I'd open up tonight and see if we can't maybe get us another Infinity ship. 
Is that the f friendship class I see over there? The, uh, yeah, I think that is. The friendship? Okay. Yeah, don't, yeah. You have that right. says Casper. You what know is I the name of it? Watch out. The on. Casper, the friendly ghost? Yeah, friendship. Oh. Ow. <laughs> Ow. Sorry, but kind of got a volley. That was very nice, though. I like that one. Looks like we made it. I've I've always wanted one. So I actually like the look of it. Yeah. Something's wrong. I have one cannon build that I, it's just feels so good. Yeah. When everything just kind of blows up. That's what this ship is. This is my highest DPS in ship in my fleet right now. What's it doing? About 300k. Oh, nice. Twain says that ship looks like Master Chief's sword from Halo. Yeah, it does, doesn't it? Hey, so Obi-Wan, you were saying that you're in a new community? You didn't elucidate. We'd love to hear about them. I'm definitely not apologizing for the amount of DPS that I'm doing. Oh, please don't. This was Ed's job back in the day. Yep. You would just do the, just sit back, enjoy. Pew pew a little bit, don't get killed. I don't think he's going to. No, they, well nobody's lasting long enough to let him get killed. No, I got like, I got like 12 shuttlecraft and my Hadar little shuttle fighting. Hanger pets? Yeah. Wow. Oh. Looks like a total of 13 hanger pets. <laughs> Sounds like the Quacken build. I'm starting to love the friendship ship. The friendship <laughs> ship? I do have one called the toxic relationship. So if anybody's <laughs> ever interested in doing a uh, power leveling next time we've got a, not an upgrade, but a leveling weekend, no, XP weekend. Are we down to bring the wow. We had fun once and grabbed a brand new tune fresh out of the academy, so like level 4. Just to see how fast we could get him to level 65. Just doing t uh, patrols. I'm just sat behind you. Yeah, I know. This is not fair to the Alachi, let's be honest. Yeah, and it's on Elite. Let's make some fun here. <laughs> Funny, I do have a torque build as well. I'm unhappy with my torque build. It's the one I've got on the other two that I was going to play. And the problem with the torque build for me is it takes too long to get satisfaction. Beams and cannons, everything goes splody pretty quick, right? Yep. Torps, it did. takes a while. Well, you're not supposed to be right in there. Stand back. Let Joshua shoot things back. for you. Yeah, you can. I promise you can. It's not me, though. That would not be me. Twain says he's got his torp build on the temporal Connie. Wow. He's going to randomly choose... Uh, now let's do the cleanup position of yes. cleaning up all the trash. Oh, oh, you guys do that. I'm gonna level up right quick. Uh, <clears throat> actually, for those who have it, currently the World Razor I heard is the best 
or ship together with the Earth Defense ship that looks like a giant tooth. That looks like a giant... Tooth. Tooth, okay, sorry. Yeah, that the, last the, word kind of got muffled and I'm trying to think what you were yeah. saying. Yeah. But those are currently the two uh, best port vessels out there. I've got one on the legendary uh, crossfield. Oh. Attacks like these are going yeah. Dwayne says Augie well. gifted me the temporal light cruiser. Clearly. Ah. Augie likes you. Speaking sure. of, do we still have the R&D packages? I know they're not on sale anymore, right? Uh. <coughs> they typically get taken down as soon as they go off sale. I swear I saw them. No, they're still there. At 250 nope. each. Let's see if they're under the featured still. Um, nope. Yeah, they have the bundle Ever. at 800, but you don't get... It's just uh, Yeah, stuff. that's over. Yeah. That, that ended... Uh, Monday. About this morning. This morning, okay. Uh, no, no, it was over yesterday. Yeah, so it's typically over on Monday, but I still have four that. Sorry, I still at have least some. Twenty-four I, hours. I didn't open them. Would I still get my goodies out of it? Um, that could be if you already have them. I already I have them. You, they might still give you the goodies. Let's see what happens here. Let me uh, jump over it's to this other tune. It's very simple. They come in a special box. Yes, they do. It's very pretty. It's got a bow on it. Yeah, first, I actually bought uh, one of those four packs. Mm -hmm. The first one I opened, I got the ship out of it. Oh, my God. That's that's just wrong. <laughs> it never happened to me. I'd always buy, like, I bought, like, ten of those one, at one time and didn't get nothing. This is when they were doing the um, perk ship at the time. Ah. So, here's a, another tip for people. Um, currently, and that is at this time, if you get the um, Delta duty officer packs uh -huh. while they're uh, while the ship thing is going, those are currently selling for the highest price unopened on the exchange, getting you Ooh. Uh, several millions like. 14 million or something back for each single pack you open. Wow. But, which isn't too bad. You know, a 14 million uh, EC return on not getting a ship. Or on getting the ship and just selling the, do the well, dots. There is always that the, you know, this costs you Zen, so that costs time. Time and money, let's be honest. Yeah, yeah, but for the 200 Zen, you get to open the pack, get some lobby, and instead of opening the DOF pack, so not getting the resources, but the Delta duty officer mm -hmm. specifically, will get you the bigger return on energy credit. Let's see if you're literally concerned. only getting them for the ship, right? Yeah, well, that's generally what I'm aiming for is the ship. Though yeah. I could use the lobby. Uh, where the heck did I put these things? Did I not put them on this tune? Maybe I put them on a different tune. Let's check but the other tune. That is the guaranteed uh, best payout to get the Delta Duty Officers. Otherwise, it's getting the uh, really rare drops and making those uh, consoles, the advanced consoles. Oh, and yeah. Specifically getting good ones that are worth a lot of money. On oh, yeah. Or just, re or just re roll them. Yeah, well, the thing with re-rolling is that can get real expensive and not result in anything worthwhile. Yeah, but what if you hit one? I've got two right now that I'm in the middle of upgrading for my carriers. Well, for specifically my phaser builds. Yeah, I, I know that currently the plasma ones are even more expensive than the phaser ones. At least they were yesterday. Well, I, I, I do have 20 of the R&D promo boxes. Shall I open them and see if we can't maybe get us a promo ship out of this? 
don't do it on ESD. Go to the relic of old Romulus, because you'll be there as the only person in the map. Does that really make a difference? Yes. How do you know? There's not many people go there. <coughs> it's a, it's a the, one of the least traffic <coughs> systems. The, the people that are getting the most boxes are usually going to very empty instances and very empty maps. Well, I've tried that and not, not had a good amount of luck with that. But well, I got my I got my product if, if I was on ESD. If it was me, I'd wait another fifty-one, maybe fifty-two minutes, and then do it. Let me go put this tune over there. Question: What is the Echo Papa Six Hundred Seven Drone Kit module? It is effing amazing. It's from a TNG episode, one of the early episodes. Um, one uh, da, 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 da. It, it's one of the better episodes uh, it, it's great it will float around behind you and shoot things yeah and it will upgrade itself when yep. it gets to that point yep I, I will just say it's actually somebody gave us two of them to give away for the party on Saturday they used to be really meta but with the newer kit modules you don't see them often. But they still do a great job. Oh yeah, yeah. Mm -hmm. If you're starting a new character, if you don't have the really good kid modules, then... I've yeah. got an interesting story for you guys. Okay. The last... One of the last runs of IEC that we did yesterday, Yeah. we observed the parser. And one of the pets did 126k DPS. The pet did? Yeah. Wow. A hanger bay pet. Sweet. <laughs> like that's m that's more than half the community being beaten by a hanger bay pet. <laughs> oh. Yeah, I, I would say that's better than my tank. <laughs> it, oh, it definitely outbeat me. <laughs> Jesus. <laughs> was it one of your pets or somebody else's? No, it was an uh, it was a Zindi Elite. Hanger Bay pet. Oh, nice. Yeah. I'd have to it switch over. From, from which one? From the the, the aquatic primate? The? the aquatic. The aquatic, yeah, okay. Yeah, okay. Those are frigates. Those are really big pets. <laughs> but I, I used to run <laughs> the Narcine and later the Briostris specifically because I love that those pets, once they get upgraded to about three stars, they don't die anymore. They just keep racking up more damage instead of dying. Yeah. I should have bought my level 61 in here. Because he would have been better to do leveling. Oh, go grab him. Go grab them while I'm trying to get into old Romulus, and I'll clean this out in the meantime. It's taking oh. its time loading into that map, so we'll give it a moment. But he does not have the DPS that you're looking for. That's okay. The only There's only two of the characters I would physically bring into a power leveling session. I've got a few that I could drag in, but... There's only two I could bring in. On uh, my entire set, I've only got two. My Terran Trail, who's also running the Defiant, funny enough, and this one. The Engineer. You know right. why? My what? Andorian's still building. I still need more traits. More space traits from her for him, and well, space traits right now are fucking expensive on the exchange. Yeah, they are. Yeah. Hey, mom. Hi. Is your mail full? Yeah, probably. Okay, then won't <laughs> let me send you stuff. Yeah. Um. Let's let's just say people have been sending me stuff for the last day or so. Hang on one second. If I'm down there, I will go over and take a look at that. Let me run over there. 
Everybody's sending stuff for the uh, fundraiser. <laughs> See if I've got any room left here. I've got a little room here. Let me go clean out some stuff here. It's this has been a big issue with you at the moment, running out of space. It's always an issue for me. Like I have stuff that I just got that I really don't need. You don't like have to give it away with the like giveaway or whatever, but it could. I know you could get it to someone who needs it more than I do. That was my thing. I'm sure there's somebody out there in the fleet who needs it more than I do. Okay, my mail should be emptier now. Great, now I have to find a place to put this, so... Mm -hmm. So, speaking of those um, Echo Papa 607 drones, I have two of them that were donated to us for the party. Make sure I don't have anything in here. So I'm actually using one of my recruits that I'm no longer working on as a bank alt. Yes, I have one too. His name is Petty Cash. I think the one I'm thinking about is Zeggy the Ferengi. <laughs> I like mm. that. Okay, I'm making sure that I'm not giving away anything that I shouldn't be giving away there. I think we're good. <laughs> Put it this way, all the stuff I have in my bank is legitimately epic for getting that. I'm planning to upgrade everything in my bank. Mm. Apart from war calls and stuff. One of these days. One of these days I'll get around to doing that. I actually spent like 250 upgraders. Yep. I think I spent 500 thousand dilithium. Yeah. Oh, easy. Easy. I can totally believe that. Dwayne has a Ferengi that's a science career. Yeah. Um, I actually have one, too. I love doing the weird ones like that. Ferengi scientists. No. Klingon you know scientists. What? You know which I'm going to bring now? Which also one? The, temp okay. the legendary temporal flight deck carrier. Okay. Is this on the same tune, or are you just uh, going to switch out ships? No. Just switch out ships, same tune. Okay. Very, very classy. The USS Independence is the oh. name of the ship. Funny, I have two ships in my in two alt, in two alts. They name the same name. It happens. Yeah. I'm funny. If you, if you have two ships named the same and you have them both on your active ship roster and you rename one, the other one might also be renamed at the same time. That is a bug uh, that happens if you have yeah. two ships by the same name. I um, know because I had two ships named Enterprise. There's a thing about that with the way I do mine. I put, you know, if you put the Enterprise and then you put a space and then put A, and then B. I figured that that's how I fixed that issue. Mm -hmm. Yeah. <clears throat> well, I, had I, a ship. I had two ships called Bobcat, and the second one was renamed to, well, when it regenerated or generated itself, it was called Bobcat 2. <laughs> which was weird. Okay. I'm like, okay. <laughs> well, it, it didn't like it with just Bobcat. <laughs> All right, are we ready to run? Yes. Okay, and thank you, GSQ. Euphorics, euphorics, euphorisk. Oh boy, I can't say that one. Hi, euphoric. Welcome aboard. Thank you for the follow. We appreciate it. And you can tell me how to say your name. <laughs> euphoric K S T C. Euphoric T C. Uh, Dwayne's got a temporal Connie named the USS Congo, but with a K. All right, so which one are we going to do this time? Mm, right, Borking uh, choosing, since you chose the first one. Borking? Which one are we doing this time? Um, We'll do Wanted. Wanted. Pargala. And the Delta Wanted. Yes. 
I'm ready to launch. I'm, I'm already launching. 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 That means you have two carriers. Hey, at least I died like right when we ended. <laughs> this is good, yes. This is a lot better if I did my thing. We did this one night on Elite, and even with a good team, this took forever. And since then, of course, they've... It's not that they've nerfed the equipment, but they've made the equipment better. I and it's just more time-consuming than it is challenging. I wanted to get back to being challenging. Make this hard. Make me have to work uh, for it. I think what they should start doing now is making the half modes of every tier, uh, patrol. Yeah, I, I kind of like the hard modes. They are fun. Yeah, making a hard mode of Ninth Rule or Rescue and Oh my god, I'd love them. Well, they're... I mean, you can do it on Elite, but it's just more stuff. Make it more challenging. Make me work for this. Make it a DPS check or something. You have entered an area controlled by the... I mean, we've run things on Elite, and then you go do Battle of Corfez, and it reminds you what Elite can be in terms of fun and challenging. And you have to think about it, and you have to prep and plan and get a good team together. Yeah, we had three EPGs on our team when we completed it. Even with the glitch, uh, or, you know, the one of the glitch areas mm -hmm. in that map. We still got through that, even that one. Mm. Dwayne says, give us the Operation Wolf TFO Elite and Advanced versions. Dwayne, I would pay money for that. Actually, I would pay money for it because I'd have to get more stuff and more toys and build up all my stuff, but it would be worth it. You will stand down. You bet you I won't. Are those the 32nd century uh, fighters? On mine? No. On his? Is oh. that on yours? Board King? What? What? What fighters do you pet? have? Yeah. What are you running? The hang yeah, that, it's whatever came with Oh, it. okay. The 32nd century on it. You can't put anything else in it. But you know. There's going to be some loot here when we're done, folks. With the amount of pets we have? <laughs> <laughs> it's like Christmas all over again. Definitely the blue phases definitely shoot this ship. You got two different eras of ships. Three different eras, actually. Yes. Discovery mm -hmm. era. You know, season one and two era. You've got the 25th century in the Verity. And you've got 32nd century with Borking. Yep. It's a nice arrangement of them. Yeah. Thank you for your assistance. There have been... We have the suspect. No, we gotta clean this up. We're good, we clean up before we leave. I sometimes don't. I just leave, I just leave the universe of trash. <laughs> you know what they say. Take only photographs, leave only caissons. Uh, I have, you know, I have plans for some of the Terran ships when I get them eventually. Mm-hmm. <laughs> One of them, I'm not going to mention names, but it is a it's a galaxy variant, and it is a dreadnought. Maybe coming another tank in, on my main tune. Well, I have this, which is my favorite tank at the moment. Though I think I could make a tankier tank out of it. 
what weapons are you using on your team? Uh, this is battle AP. Ah. A little dark matter, a little bowel. What else is on there? Mostly bowel. I like it. I, I have the. Uh, it's non-baryonic. It is Tilly's shields, prevailing fortified impulse, and mycelial harmonic, and then just. Uh, it's good. I mean, it. Uh, this will take a pounding. I mean, it'll go through Battle of Corfez. It's not a big issue. We have the suspect. The my powers <laughs> are very different in terms of. You know the way my powers are compared to you. Mm -hmm. My power is more slings, weapons, and speed than shields and auxiliary. Yeah, and this one is being able to absorb the hit. It, it's so you're a different way of playing the game. Yeah, well, it's the same way I fight in real life. I can take the hit. <laughs> Versus dealing it, and sometimes you know I don't have great upper body strength, so if I get in a fight, I can take the hit. I'm not too worried about it. I don't like yeah. to take the hit, but I can. And if they underestimate you, they they're are. gonna find out that you are trained. Yeah, <laughs> you know, so they always <laughs> underestimate me. That's why it works so well. Except my except my teacher. <laughs> After all these years, so we know each other well enough. Do you have a ship, another ship set up on that tune that can do pew pew? Not on this tune, no, I have to switch to another one. Damn. Well, I can do that, just give me a sec. So I was going to bring up my tank for a bit so you can have okay. a bit of fun. Okay. With yeah. some beeps. This one's Kefka. She's also AP. Uh, give me a Kefka, there we go. AP, but um, she's more. Uh, oh shoot! I have to grab a different ship. I'm better be at. Spa I'm at space dock. Let me go down and switch out ships. I was, I leveling, I I was leveling up the Hesperia, Hesperian, whatever that is, and the Hesperian, the the summer ship, winter ship, the last ship. Yeah, the horny dragon. That one. Let's see. Who are we doing? This is the. Yeah, this is the yeah, outfield. Yeah, it's a Gagarin. Because HRN. It's on the lead. There okay. we go. I can do it on the lead. Hey, Pirate Scum! Hi, how are you doing tonight, what sweetie? What are we doing? Uh, what are we doing? We're going to do one more, and this one is Joshua's to pick, because we've each picked one. And then and we're going... Dwayne is advocating do Jailbreak at Repente, and which I don't remember. What the heck that is Jailbreak at Repente? That's, That's your favorite one, Mom. Pardon? That's your favorite one. No! Yes, it's it, not the, very um, XP focused. It, it, it's with the Klingon it, ships that you have to go down no, below where you're fighting the bases. Yeah, it's the one where you have the three satellites and you have to get near them and keep them under your control. And then for the second phase, you need to shoot the little Klingon ships trying to escape the planet. I thought that was no, a no, TFO. No, 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 no. That is a TFO that you're talking about. You're talking. Is, you're talking about best served cult. Oh yeah. my! And is this, this is a patrol. On, uh huh. Jailbreak is the three stations with Klingon defenders. You have to go and fight while you take a boarding party down. You beam a bo boarding team down. Oh. Then you fight the enemies. You beam the boarding parties up, and then you go to the next thing. Right, 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 next right. There's, it's a Martok one, isn't it? Yep, Martok. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. That's a TFO um, one. Yeah, no. no, no, there's Jailbreak at Repente that's a patrol, and the one that you're thinking that's a TFO is Best Served Cold, I think. It's the one you're thinking of. The it one is. that you were always getting. Best Served Cold. By the way, the one we're going to be doing is... We're done Jailbreak at Rua Repente. <laughs> yeah, best served cold is the one where you have to defend the three, then you have to take out the freighters, then the freighters become the uh, whatever bombs. Yeah, right. EPG definitely wins with that one. <laughs> <laughs> okay, ninth rule. Ninth rule it is. I'm launching. Hold on, I gotta find it. I don't even know where it is. It's, it's, it's in the Age of Discovery. Discovery? Oh. Or it's in alphabetical order under all patrols, but they do start it with the. Okay. 
It's it's so. got to change. Oh shoot! Hold on, pirate scum. Hang on a second. Don't start up. Can we invite pirate scum to join us? Uh, is he put X in the uh, chat? Um, he's logging in right now. Let us know when you're in there, pirate scum. I just launched. <laughs> it's fine. We can wait. You can. You have time to launch all your pets then. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> Hmm. All 13 of them. <laughs> See, if this was my um, Lexington, you'd have the Aquarius, the work bees, plus the entire work bay of the the uh, Bay of all the extra Alliance fighters we have. Pirates, come let us know when you're in and we'll uh, invite you over. Hopefully that'll work. I'll put an X in strike group. Chat. Didn't the quack and have like twelve mm -hmm. times as many pets? Hey, pirate scum, are you in the strike group chat? Have I ever sent you an invitation? Well, I can take care of that. I should probably clean up all these channels I've got here. Okay, I've sent you an invitation to join our chat, if you're ever interested. <laughs> I'll let Avatar know that we might need an, an upgrade in the amount of channels we can be in. No, I have to get my butt out of some of these old channels. Because I don't well, go into a lot of these anymore. Well, I... I found out when I was getting uh, a couple of years ago all the DPS channel invites that I couldn't join more channels. I mean, there used to be an Epo tag channel. Nobody's ever really? one. <laughs> we we well, used to I have one for Farns Lab. We don't do that one anymore. But I have what private channels into? so I can just talk to people sometimes. What are I walk into? Uh, just talking about uh, some of the channels we don't use anymore. Chat channels. Oh, I see. Why don't you just not give you team leader? Yeah. It's not. Am I team that. leader? Yeah. I'll, oh. You, now you are. I am now. Okay. Well, as soon as Pirates Come server gets him patched up, we'll go. Because mm -hmm. it's mine did the same thing this morning. It was just. <sighs> How are you doing, Frost? I've had a very long day. You Sorry. know what was weird? I spent part of my day going. I, I, I haven't typed anything all day that isn't work stuff, and it was kind of weird. I know what you meant. You said it yesterday, and yeah, that's how I felt it, today. It was pretty bizarre, yeah. It, yeah, it is very bizarre. Uh, no, I had to I had to deal with a thing that I missed yesterday. And people obviously weren't happy about it, and so I had to... Well, everybody... about their opinion. Everybody, thank you so much for the prizes for the raffle. Now we got to get people in there who can donate a little bit. So invite all your friends, tell them one euro, and they get a chance at a great ship, and they'll definitely get a good prize out of it too. Mm. But if we can raise a bunch, then they can get a bunch of chances at a bunch of great prizes. Y you know, if you want to play it safe and you can afford five euros, then you put in five each or one each time for five different ships. <laughs> it sounds like gambling there to me. We it is. There we go. And we have launched for ninth rule, so get your butt over here and we'll get going. Yeah. Oh, we're on elite. I too. I'll, I'll, I'll come. We're on elite. <laughs> yeah, well, this is going to get really short with these guys here on elite. <laughs> <laughs> right? Right. Uh, pretty much. Mm -hmm. And we got Pirate Scum with us, and just waiting on Musin to get his butt over here. And we can go. Yep. Yeah, uh, I'm the resident tank in this one, so... You are tanking this one. Yep. You're not the only one. But you need to uh, take I'm a turn. Here we go. Everybody's in. Much as I love this ship, it is very much a glass cannon. 
Why are you making cannons out of glass? Oh, because I wanted to do all DPS and then kind of forgot to get around to doing any kind of defense. Oops. You can't have everything, Frost. I have everything. What is that? Ooh. Thing? What? what, what We're looking awesome stuff? there. What are those? That uh, is the oh, what ship is that? Bowel that is the bow the bowel sentry, right? That is a great ship. It, it is. Good. It's an amazing ship. Hi, drunken heretic. How are you doing, dear? I saw what you. What are those things coming like from behind me? If you know how to use them, they're fantastic. Otherwise, yes. they're a huge waste of time. Come on, shut up, Ferengi. Let me fight. Yeah. Frankie has to me one second. I hate Frankie. You'll hate my one of my uh, tem my Delta recruit. I hate Delta NPC Ferengis. How about that? <laughs> my main is a, is a Ferengi and the coolest Ferengi out there. You have so many mains, Frost. No, I don't. I only have one. Well, yesterday was Rawl. Is Rawl Ferengi? No, Rawl is my is uh, is my utility character. I can use her in just about everything. But if I'm trying to do something, or I spent uh, like four years building up the character, I'm going to say that uh, that Kisiki is my main. Me. Well, that was nice. That looked very pretty. Okay. By the way, Drunken Heretic, that is Yo-Ho. Ho. We got the final Ho there. Not casting aspersions on anybody, of course. Just pointing it out. Stop that. Stop that. Stop that. Stop that. I hate when that happens. They warp you or... Yeah, you. viral impulse burst. Kiss my butt on that. I just hate that. It's the only reason I hate the Molkai. There's a cube under me. What are you doing? I am doing Kobayashi Maru. Okay, so I was doing Kobayashi Maru the other day, and it was Borg for round two, and Borg for round three, Borg for round four, Borg for round five, Borg for, Borg for round six? It's getting very Borgy. Borgy. Well, they, they think you need to brush up on your Swedish. Yes, I do, but my Danish first. Oh, Yay, no, that was fun. <laughs> oh, no. It's literally the point of the program. <laughs> Quite. Tis indeed. Uh, I always get... Slightly annoyed when that happens. All right, everyone. That is the worst Australian accent ever. Oh, that one? Yeah. Yeah. I'm trying to see, like, is the name Cockroach? Is that his name, or is that the fleet name? No, for, no for... it's uh, the ship name. Trace's Casual Cockroach. <laughs> okay. okay. <laughs> but as long as it's casual, you know, it's not a formal cockroach. Oh, that's what he called the uh, sticks, right? And this is the sticks. I, I just, uh, just yeah, I got access to this uh, this costume, so I set this one. Uh, but yeah, it, it was kind of a funny trolling name. 
Okay, we've been talking about doing some ground stuff to add memory here. Mm-hmm. So, I was thinking since his two favorites were Bug Hunt and Pavo Dissension, how about we do a little Bug Hunt on Elite? I don't think mm -hmm. I can do Bug Hunt, can I? Well, no, you have to go grab a different tune. Besides, you're not going to get XP for ground, hunt, or for ground stuff. So, go grab a tune that's got some history. I'll just, I'll just start doing some other stuff. Okay, fine. Be that way. Tell us you don't love I us without telling us you don't love us. <laughs> I don't you love you. Ground? All I'm telling. Yeah. About what? Oh, oh, the, the group fell apart. Yes, because I had to jump over and grab a different tune. This is my yeah. much better ground tune. Yeah, might as well, might as well let Dot Mum reform the team. <clears throat> yep. Oh my God. Wayne says, fun fact, David Ruprecht, who hosted the game show Supermarket Sweep, is the voice of the Kobayashi Maru captain in the Wrath, Wrath of Khan. <laughs> yeah, we can do a private run. Absolutely, we can go private for this one. So if you're up for a little bug hunt, let me know and I'll invite you. Excellent. I'm as Kasiki if you, if you want, if you need someone like that. The only time this character's ever died is when I'm doing um, solo uh, elites on my own. I think I'll be good on a normal one. Who are you on, Drunken Heretic? Gideon? Apparently, Gideon. All right, we got a team O five. Yeah, go ahead and check your gear. Get your toys ready. My gear. Hmm. Gear, toys, same, 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 same. Oh, that was the wrong thing. I didn't mean to do that. There we go. That's appropriate. Okay, get rid of that one. Because it's dumb. And it's much dumber than I thought it was. All we need to work out now is what level I finish this year off. Depend, you know, what endeavor rank I finish on. Depends if I finish it next year. Yeah. The second here. Okay, I don't need the Halloween thing. Definitely don't need the Halloween thing. I can get all my stuff from the temple operative, dude. Well, then you should get all the things from the temple operative, dude. Yes, I will. <laughs> well, you do that thing. I will. Well, yeah. Yeah. So yeah. there, yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Shut up. So I oh, opened me. four boxes, nothing. So I waited ten minutes, I opened four boxes just now. We'll see what happens. Nothing. Nothing. I mean, nothing. Yeah, I mean, nothing. nothing. I was hoping to get a uh, T6 promo ship. Okay, let's go stomp bugs. Bug hunt elite. Here we go. Whoa. <laughs> Bug hunt to leave. Need to have to pay attention? Welcome to Pariah 3. I'm Lieutenant John Vanderveer, and I'll be your demolitions expert on this trip. He's a demo expert. I'm the mission a, a Ferengi. I know things about loading stuff up. <clears throat> What? 
Spawn mother is one nasty bug. And our orders are to take I always enjoy how the beam for my weapon kind of bends at weird angles if I'm too close to the target. Let's be honest, this is a, a, a bug massacre. <laughs> Slaughterhouse Wait. of the bugs? Yes. Like, nobody's gonna die in this. Yep. Oh, that didn't even blow up, it just disappeared. Even the rocks are afraid of us. Interesting. Ah. Maybe they can do extra elite. Or like a elite plus. Yeah. Stupid hard. You, you, it's like um, what World of Warcraft does with Mythic Plus. Yeah. But it, you know, but you have a special key you can put in. So they have a ranking system where you can actually do keys from level two to high twenties. Yeah, I I want to have some fun with this stuff. Now that I've got good gear on a few tunes. Yeah. I can understand that. But that would be a system I would suggest implement, because then it'll give some of the DPS checkers in the game something to do. Yeah. Because what it does is increases the amount of damage and HP that they have. So you think, you know, the poor infected conduit is hard. Did we miss one? Some people. Did we miss one? He's up there. Hang on a second. I'll get him. Everyone got the adaptive shields? Yeah, yeah. Because resistance is ultimately futile. I do. We well, you know, even if you don't, dude, it's bugs. Lots of bugs. Lots of dead bugs. We love bugs in this house. Ooh, thousand blue hills, yay. I've personally killed more than that at this point, let's be honest. For how many times we actually have ran this up to now? Well, this tune doesn't run it that often, because until recently she just didn't have great ground gear. And that's one reason that Ed was doing this with me. But now Which you're going to have to figure out some other people who are good at building ground. Well, a lot of people are good at building ground. It's just that I never did it. I mean, I've got all these beautiful ground builds. I should go back and play with them. And now I have some time. Unless I decide to go back to college. Which I might do. Wow. I think I can get us a... One in one of the group chats that I'm in. Yeah. Talking about the Burnham uh, CC uh, environmental suit. Yeah. Yeah. That's all that they're talking is about. Is that a good sign if I'm purposely walking into their damage and still taking nothing? Well, you're, no, really your shields are taking a little of it, but that's about it. I've got four levels of shields. I'm good. Oh, I'm watching your shields and they're going, eh. 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 Is that the best you got? Okay, fine. Your shields are unimpressed with all the damage. 
That's right. Even pirate scum's covered with bug goo and nothing. I'm gonna see if I can assimilate the bug queen. Oh, that'd be fun. Dwayne says, I've been looking at version builds from Stow Better. Is that a site, or is that me just not reading things well tonight? Uh, I think that just did not make sense at okay. all, in my opinion. Uh, unless versions is like a, a person or a website, okay. then it makes complete grammatic sense, that sentence. I'm going to sign that bitch. Well, I have been reading somebody's uh, writing, and every now and then the punctuation is kind of interesting, and I have to think to myself, I wonder what he's actually trying to say here. He sh who shall remain nameless. I have no idea what I'm trying to say most of the time. <laughs> Various! The word was various built. Oh. That makes a lot more sense then. Are you sure this is elite? Yeah. Did you make sure? Yeah, that's elite. Because it does not feel that way. You can't. Uh, yeah, we can't let what's his name die. I've completely forgotten about it. Not that I think that was an issue. You okay, Mr. Vanderveer? Boy, that one up there does not want to die. That one died. Anybody else? There we go, one more. Boah, ha, 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 ha. I am beside myself. I got through it. Yay! That was a good run. That was a good run. Much death and destruction befell the buggos. Yeah, I've got almost 5,000 shield. <laughs> I was good there. And it's nice because it's elite, so we got some extra toys out of it. Oh, Alright. I'm still on fire! I posted my ground build in uh, the ground build off. Okay, hang on, let me jump over there. Ooh, the advanced uh, science fragment, exotic particle wave piece. I don't know what that is. The uh, ma major part of that is the regeneration when idle outside of combat. And of course, uh, everything is uh, gambled on regenerating and mm -hmm. resistance. Because this build is supposed to make it possible to just leisurely walk around and, like, use the Lucari wrist weapon in yeah. healing mode. And then just have everybody grouped around me stay alive. Uh, how does that one work for, uh, like, Draenor Beach Assault, where having the Lucari thing helps keep the shield generator alive? But you can't have your people around you because uh, they're, they have to be all over the map. I'm not quite sure if the shield proc from the Lucari shield. Oh is, yeah. Uh, what? Because that's the shield proc from Lucari shield is actually working on Drunner Beach Assault. Yes, I it does. Do not play that often enough. Yeah, I, I do it when it's the universal, but that is one reason why I use that one. But I'm just thinking that might be a fun build to try on that. Be nice to have well, you this is, build for each mission. This this is a very very tanky build. Oops, okay. we're at 851, so let me jump over to that other tune. Let's see if we get anything. And, and even when you die, you will either be respawned by the time device, the automated adrenal hypo, red angel suit, 
or you might have to click on the paradox corrector if all those are on cooldown. Well, I opened four more boxes and no ship love yet. That's at 8.50. We'll do it again in five <laughs> minutes. Uh, the build itself is completely uh, situated around the fact that, yeah, I, I do as little as possible and just hit the kits and and shoot with my uh, my healer mode. If I need some actual damage, I switch to the Tommy gun though. Which is yeah, I don't, I don't, I don't even care what weapon I have on me. It's just, it doesn't really make that much difference. Um, Most of the things are, are kits. I I mostly use kits. The Tommy gun is specifically against the Borg adaptations, yeah. and when I just mm -hmm. need a widespread of fire, because there's a lot. But yeah, it's mostly kit, 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 kit. I'm gonna change my outfit because it's clipping from the back. Boop! Flashing everybody? But no, it's clipping, not, not quite flashing. Just. Uh huh. Uh -huh. This, though. Um, this. Well, if nothing else, I have another 200 uh, lobby. There you go. That's the way to look at it. Yes. But it would have been nice to get a ship out of it. Oh well. But hey, yeah. but don't forget that you can get a ship out of this in a number of ways. You can get a lobby ship. You might be able to get an infinity ship. You might be able to get an eagle moth ship. So um, a and JB, I'm working on the list of what we've got right now. I will get it to you as soon as I'm done. But yeah, the 25% uh, increased electrical damage from the two set Lucari, together with the ball lightning, the chain conduit capacitor, you know, and of course the Lucari weapon, wrist weapon. That works really well. Mm -hmm. it's, it, this is still sort of a, a merging of what used to be the Palpatine build and uh, the. The, the heavy ground combat build with the uh, the bio it's a Palpatine build. Yeah. The, the thing with the Red Angel suit is, if you fall down like into a pit, yeah, you're screwed. Yeah, yeah, I know, and it never happens to me because I know what I'm doing and what I'm wearing. Well, the but thing that is an important one. Yeah, and that's a good one, like for binary circuit. And previously on Bug Hunt, when you could get pushed off that bridge by accident, that last little one where you have to run across the stalactite that falls down, or stalagmite, whichever one it is, um, it was possible to fall off of it before they put the safety rails up. And it still happens with binary circuit. You can fall into the pit. Uh, and Dust to Dust, I think, allows you to fall into the pit of death. Except you don't die. Uh... Okay, it's 8.55. Let's give it a shot. We've got how many ships, or how many boxes left here? I have seven remaining boxes. Let's give it a shot and see what happens. Nope. Nope. Uh, yeah, but because I have my specialization to commando, I just uh, double tap forward or backward to place some mines with a little roll. Oh, Gozer the Gozerian. Last box. Uh, nope. But we got 200 more Lobi. So, yay. Oh. We That's can get a Lobi ship. <laughs> <laughs> yes. Yes, we can get a Lobi ship. That That's not currently an issue. All right. You guys want to do one more before I have to take the hell spawn out? Oh, the Paradox Bomb is always amazing. Yeah, I, I'm not there for the DPS, though. I, I'm literally there for supporting uh, others. And, and for basically being the... You need to reassemble the, the team, by the way. I guess I know. Oh. What are we going to do? 
Well, if everyone's <laughs> in DPS boats. Well, are we I'm gonna, not in a DPS boat. Are we going to do ships or are we going to do ground? But in, I, I'm pretty sure that I can still control just about anybody. Dante's on for this one too, so let's see what we got. I'll tank. Okay. Well, that sounds like we're going to be doing some space, so let me queue us up private here. Do, 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 Joshua, do, 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 Frost, do, 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 you want in on this one? If you'd like. It's your call. Dante wants in, so let me grab... Oh. Dante's switching I'm to a different one, so we'll let him grab somebody else here. I am fine to be involved in this. I'm just getting the the stuff up on my other screen of which yeah. match I would like or which match I would love to do. You know, for the elite content. Okay. Yeah. What level can I do TFO elite? Actually, um... 65. Let me I switch this out. It's really quick. It's so not to be 65 to do elite on team. If I just TFO. invited you into yeah. something, please leave it uh, for the private TFOs because I want to switch out to a different ship. Oh, ah. was it 65 or 60? I think it's 65 it's on elite. So if you want 60, just so you know, the you know the advanced engineering consoles. Mm -hmm. the, if yes. You want them? You got ball disconnected counterpoint. Gateway for Graph 4, you've got Into the Hive, Minor Instabilities, Parallel Over Parvo, and Geno Gauntlet, and Vicious oh. Cycle. Are the ones of those. And then you got Vault Ensnared, Herald Sphere, and Best Surf Cold, if you want to do any of those for Elite. And the, the other three tiers are for, you know, Science consoles. Mm. Leveling game, I believe it means. Okay, um. Let's see. I have two more people to invite here. So let me get JB. Well. And Frost. It's that I don't wield the staff, or I could have called that this build and um, ground the thou shalt not pass build. <laughs> okay, I need a staff, though. I have an idea. About Drenor Gauntlet. No, not Drenor Gauntlet. Nah. -uh. <laughs> no. Nope. Nobody. Nope. 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 Not happening. Uh, so, which ones can we do on Elite? Run the elite list for the advanced components. Minor instabilities, right? Yeah, we could do minor instabilities, but we we want to do space. This one. Oh, uh, uh, counterpoint. Do counterpoint. That wouldn't be bad. Goes up for counterpoint. Um, yeah. Okay. Come on, counterpoint. Spelling, it's a thing, Mom. No, it's there not. <laughs> it better be Frost. <laughs> We've got a problem. All right, here we go. Counterpoint Elite. What is the fail in this one? Uh, not protecting DS9 and letting it drop below a certain health or okay. something. Maybe not closing the portals quick enough. Yeah. I thought that was not your favorite one, Mom. It's not my favorite <laughs> one. But the, this one shouldn't fail on Elite. The, okay. The, the fail condition isn't often met. Hey! Mom. You haven't played with me yet, Musen. <laughs> ah. Pretty sure it'll be alright. Where I start... Oh, I was going to say, I swear I started that one. Keep an eye on DS9's uh, health. Okie doke. DS9. Yeah, the portal should be fine. 
Yeah. I, I know for points you want to focus on portals and the taxi service. Yeah. Points is only if you got plenty of time left to, uh, to close extra portals. Yeah, but and the portals, you know, that's the main thing on the second phase here, right after this initial one, is closing the portals. Uh, teams actually does. It makes uh, Tarek Noor squishier as well. Oh, I suspect we'll be able to squish it pretty good. Oh, right. I'm not too worried about the squish factor. I forgot something. Your ship? Engines? Did you remember to put the engines on? No, I put the wrong um, specialization. It, 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 I'm fixing it now. It's fine. But yeah, it could have really been a big problem if I didn't go in there with actual abilities. I went into a mission once not realizing I didn't have any engines on the ship. <laughs> Try to figure out oh. what's going on uh. here. I went into a mission and all my, all my weapons and engines were taken off. I'm like, what all? One day I logged in to do a daily on a new event. Mm -hmm. Completely forgetting that the last time I was playing, I was showing off my ships. I had no equipment done at all on that thing. No shields, no engines, no weapons, no consoles, nothing. Yeah, there are days I come up and find out I'm still on a shuttle from the previous night. and just Bad words. Oh. Bad words! Yeah, no, I, I had to abort the, the mission. And, and like switch ships because I had no loadout for that ship either. I'm terrible with that. Most of my loadouts uh, are just saved because yep. they're gear storage and they force me to make a loadout save. I want you to know that I heard that as their beer storage and I'm thinking, wow, okay. Yeah, no, I, I store my beer on my ship too. No, no, you, you got. Lots in of points from me for that one. In, in the neutral zone, nothing is illegal. <laughs> wow. Oh, that, that's like the, the the international waters, right? Yeah. 13 miles off or whatever it is. 3 miles, 5 miles. Yeah. But basically, there's a lot you can do on a ship in international waters. Not do in a country. Oh yeah. Gets people into trouble all the time. Yeah. My, uh, I made a backstory for my character that she was actually sort of a smuggler, Han Solo type, uh, crossing the neutral zone, uh, smuggling basically every type of alcohol to be his knife. Gave me a reason to be at the place people role play. I was like, what's that guy from um, Picard per season? Uh, Rios? Yeah, Rios. <laughs> God, I love that character. <laughs> Why did they get rid of all the really good characters in Picard? And all the best ones. They already <laughs> made uh, the whole season and the whole. Like art. Yeah, but we didn't have to call off Shaw. I love Shaw. No, but they didn't get the reaction of the fans before they'd already filmed. Yeah, I I get that, but they were wrong. Of course they were wrong. Same with uh, killing off Shaw. That was oh wrong. He was he was protecting Starfleet. I don't care. Yeah. He was amazing. Okay. It was amazing. So, and he's from Chicago, did, come on. I didn't he like it. I didn't Chicago. like it when uh Shelby mouthed off to the card. I no. was like, where is she coming off? No, no, you can kill off Shelby. I'm I'm fine with that. Yeah. But I didn't like it when she had a big mouth telling Picard to share effing Uberus. Was that However, Shelby? Ever? Yeah. There was Shelby? I thought it was yeah. somebody else. Yeah, no, I, I didn't like that at all. It was, it was, was bad. That was bouncy, wasn't it? That was bad no, script that was writing. The, no, that wasn't Shelby. That was just an admiral. Yeah, okay, thank you. I didn't think it was Shelby. No, because Shelby was, was in busy the, 
She was in the last episode. He tried to make Enterprise out. <laughs> uh, let's see. Dwayne says, in Pirate Scum, we don't call for backup. We call for cleanup. Clean up aisle one. Bring a sponge. Yes. I'm just here to just protect the yeah, Oh, nice. Admiral Clancy. I'm sorry. Clancy. Thank you. Clancy. Yeah, it's Lila time! It's kind of right. <laughs> the mirror bitch of the mirror universe. Anyway, I didn't like when she had the big mouth at the start. I was like, where is she getting off? Yeah, yeah, no, I, I totally agree. That. When Shaw was being an ass to the card and right he had every right to treat them the way he did. It, it was just better was, script writing. It worked because they knew what the heck yeah, they were doing. Well, he was a by the book captain. Yep. With two guys who kind of take it loose and fast with the rules. Yep. On mm -hmm. his ship, I don't think so. Yeah, and uh, I, he smelled what they were trying to do. Oh yeah. Uh, hey, Dwayne, did they really kill off Shelby? The thing is, you don't see it. You can assume it, but it's never spelled out directly. Yeah. They, or yet, they did uh, create Enterprise G. Yeah, but after the Borg took over the fleet, we never heard about Admiral W ever again. Okay. Correct. They, they um, created the Enterprise G. But mm -hmm. they did not decommission or retire the F. They did. No. No, they that was her. That was her last flight. Her coming out of her space dock was her last flight. Mm -hmm. I'm pretty sure it's not. Hey, it's a good reason to go watch it again. She yeah. Didn't get this, she didn't get destroyed. No. But you can decommission a ship without it having to be destroyed. Yeah, yeah. but what you're gonna do? Decommission the entire fleet of ships? No. Depends on how much damage they took, etc., etc. Yeah, I, I think that because uh, we got uh, Captain Sean in the F in the game, that they are keeping the F and setting out the G. The G, however, is not going to be the flagship. No, it wouldn't be the flagship, because the flagship is the ship of, usually, of the Admiral of the Fleet. And it is the premier ship. Well, um, Titan is not the premier ship. The flagship is, like, their most prestigious ship, right? right. Which, in no. the case of... It has nothing to do with what the flagship is. Having worked with the Navy for most of my adult life, no, the flagship is the serial um uh sorry it's the first of its birth within a cag group yeah so you'd have well, to know what the cag is in in order well, well, I mean, there's so many things that weren't talked about in, in star trek to know what a flagship really was no but like the f and the d both do fall into that category well, Gee, from, the, from Star Trek lore, the flagship tended to be the ship that had the premier officer, usually field officer, on it. Yeah. Which is why yeah. the, the D shouldn't really have been, because, you know, Picard wasn't Picard until later. Well, that's what a CAG is. It's commander of, uh, in, uh, commander of, in an, of an arena group or an assault group. That's what CAG means. So that's, that's <laughs> and Dragon Air goes, and here comes wing measuring. Yeah, well, uh, <clears throat> well I, I'm going to get back to the whole argument about why they shouldn't have killed off Shaw and why I think they didn't kill Shelby. The thing is, when they were killing off the people in Picard, they were killing off people where the death had significance to the story. So when they killed Roe, and they killed Shaw. Everybody went, <gasps> when they killed um, uh, Hugh, there was that same reaction of, <gasps> so they tried to, I, 
I hope they did it because it really made a difference to the story. And Killing Shaw sucked because he was a great character, well written, and it really affected people and how they responded. Versus Shelby, who was a significant character in TNG, but we didn't deal with her other than a couple lines of dialogue here. I mean, there's reference to her, but it wasn't significant to the storyline. Oh, this is, like, swimmingly good. Oh, don't say that! You're jinxing us! Wow. We've only got, like, nine, ten assault teams landed. That's terrible. Yeah, but DS9... Yeah, but DS9's taking nothing. DS9 is... you're doing a great job, but... It's taking no damage at all. Look at it, I mean, 100%. I'm grabbing everything near it, and it's getting destroyed all at the same time. And I'm just doing my ferry service, running back and forth, being an Uber driver. I'll come and help you with that. No, no, but we've only got like a uh, minute 15 left. I can deliver okay, a few. Yep. Are you delivering food, Mom? Yeah, I am. <laughs> Actually, I was thinking about that. On Saturday, we're going to have to take breaks because I have to take the doggos out throughout the day. Most of the day they'll be fine and I'll get a super big walk in the morning. But at some point they're going to be like, Mom, 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 Mom. Put it in the schedule. Well, that'll be my time to run out and grab pizza or something like that. For every couple of hours, a 15 minute break. <laughs> yes. Dante says Admiral Hubris Bitch was her name. What? Yes. And Clancy's name was actually Admiral Hubris Bitch. <laughs> she was a bitch. Oh, she was. <laughs> she <laughs> should not have sw no, 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 no. It, it was bad dialogue, badly written. I thought, yeah. you know, Starfleet officers were not meant to swear. Well, especially so as an good. admiral. Somewhere along the lines, they felt that humanity got back their ability to use profanity. Fleet Admiral F. Bomb? <laughs> yeah, that should never have happened, in my opinion. That was yeah. disgusting. <clears throat> I, I feel it's. Uh, Once in a while, lazy. for dramatic influence, you know, to, yeah. to drop a bad word in there, but as soon as you start using it more than once in a while, it loses its charm. It does. Yeah, no. It, modern Trek, uh, with all the newer shows, is just big. I think it's the writers who just throw in too many f bombs because people got jaded and desensitized by modern media. But also the effect of Trek swearing—it's it, kind of like. <gasps> And then yeah. it becomes routine because they do it too much. Yeah, that's, uh, that's why I like Prodigy. Prodigy, they did not swear at all because it was an actual a kid show. show. It was an actual kid show, and it was—I liked it. I actually did like that show. Fortunately, they took it off Paramount Plus in its entirety, including season one. Yeah. You haven't seen the last of me. Which, which sucks. screams were selling it to somebody. To me, you know, that's why they'd pull it off in its entirety. Is they're going to show it on a different channel, and Paramount Plus has sold it and is going to make some money off of it. But the agreement is then they wouldn't be showing it. But that's oh. just me. So the, what? It's going to Cartoon Network. Unlikely. Do you think? They need a Star Trek Network. They do need a Star Trek Network. There's certainly enough of it now. The funniest thing in all of New Trek is Worf collapsing in the chair and falling asleep. Yeah, that was pretty good. So there, there were actually some really good bits. Yes. Every <laughs> Sunday over here, our Paramount channel is Star Trek all day long. Well, Heroes and Icons was doing Star Trek from 6 till midnight, I think, or 7 till midnight. They would do TOS, TNG, Voyager... DS9 Enterprise. Yeah. So they'd have five hours yeah, of it. 
Um, Just running. Hey, we have I, I have dogs that need to be walked. So I'm going to head uh, out of here, folks. <laughs> JB says, well, he's a really old man who had a really busy day. Well, this is true, and I think that's why it works. It's, it's one of those, you know, Worf the warrior does all that great stuff, and in the end, he's an old man who's had a really long day. But we don't think of Worf that way, but it still is really funny. All right, everybody, I am going to go walk the hell spawn if they can keep from getting their feet caught in their collars again. <sighs> My dogs. Anyway, I will be back uh, tomorrow morning, s six. Yes, I know, I know. Thank you. We'll be going <laughs> in a minute, six a.m. Um, and we'll be on tomorrow night. Hold it. Is there a ten forward weekly tomorrow night? Anybody know? Seeing it's gone to the two weekly. Yeah, I can't remember if it was on last week or not. Uh. I cannot remember myself. Well, if, if it's on tomorrow, I probably won't be. If it's not on, I probably will be. Maybe I'll be on. Who knows? I'm definitely not going to be on Friday night so we can get everything together. JB, I will send you a list of stuff. I have to go through it on my other tune. Um, and I'll figure out where we can post it so everybody can see what's out there. Probably someplace on the web or on the uh, Discord. So everyone, have a really good night. Thank you so much for being here. I really appreciate it. Love you guys. You're all amazing. Go out, destroy things, go kill things, have some fun. Bye-bye. Bye-bye. Bye. 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 The dogs. Ah, dogs.